So it's finally summertime, and guess what that means? Sunburn and photos. How did I know it was summertime? Google. <laughs> and uh, you've been laying down in the water, actually not in the water, in the sand, and you actually fell asleep. You wake up five hours later, only to find out that you cannot get up or move at all. Why? Because your skin is red as hell. You gain the courage to finally get up. You look down at your skin, and then you look back up, and you see some stranger coming up to you and say, hey, let's take a picture together. That's not, that's not happening. But somehow he still got the photo with you, and here you are with nothing but big ass tan lines. And here they have it to cherish forever. That's not going to happen. No. What you're going to do is you're going to find out where he lives and you're going to go to his house. You're going to break down his front door, walk to his camera, take it, go back to your house, put it into Photoshop and take out that tan line. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this tan line. We're not necessarily going to be taking off the sunburn, but we're going to be adding it on to the white, the non sunburn area. So, you know, we're just going to give him a full sunburn. This is our after image here. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color mode of this image from RGB color to lab color. So I'm going to go to image mode lab color. Now I'm going to zoom in here, drag down a little bit, select the magic wand tool. And you know that can be found under the quick selection tool. Magic wand tool, make sure new selection is checked. Tolerance at around 10, anti-alias checked, contiguous checked, sample all layers not checked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the white area of the skin and it didn't make a good selection so we're going to hold on our shift key and keep adding on to that selection. Don't worry if it bleeds out in the shirt we can fix that later except that's a little bit too much bleeding. And that looks pretty good. You're going to have a jaggedy line here. You can use the magic wand tool for a quick and easy selection or you can get more in depth with the uh, pen tool to select stuff but uh, in this case we're just going to use a magic wand tool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the new adjustment layer icon click that choose levels and you can see that now we have a levels layer with the mask of the white skin so that's pretty cool now what I want to do is I want to sample the colors on his skin. I want to sample this red color with this white color and I can do that by coming down selecting the eyedropper tool and choosing color sampler tool. What this does is it's going to sample the top color as well as the bottom color so we can make the bottom color the same as the top color. So I'm going to choose the red color here and you can see number one info palette shows up if you don't have the info palette you can go to window info or hit f8 on your keyboard and then i'm going to select the white area of the skin too and there you have it all in the info palette now what we want to do is we want to match up the a channel here so we're going to click on lightness choose a we want to match up the a channel on this side to this side so we want to make this 23 into a 40 so they both match on the these two numbers right here we can do that by dragging the white node to the left, bring that up to 40. Now go to the B channel and we want it to be 26. Left node, bring that up, 26. Okay, now what we want to do is adjust the lightness so we can actually come to the image, zoom out here, and so that jagged line doesn't screw you up, what you can do is zoom out, hold your finger up, then adjust the lightness here with this middle node and bring it down until you think it matches up. Maybe around there. Okay. Now we're going to hide the info palette because we don't need that anymore. And you can see that there's a really bad jagged line here. And we can fix that by coming over here to the uh, brush tool, choosing a decent size brush and the uh, hardness at around 50%. Make the mode at normal, opacity around you know 40%, 35%. We want to do a nice soft removal here and just basically kind of go over this jagged line maybe once or twice 
Now we're going to come over here to the lasso tool. Select the entire line here. Once you have that selection, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We just want to blur it enough to where that line disappears. Around there, click OK. Select, deselect, control or command D if you're on a Mac. Zoom out and then you can kind of adjust the lightness here once again. Match it up. And you can kind of see a red line here, but you can fix that with the healing brush tools as well as many other Photoshop tools. So here we got some problem areas here and what we can do is go to the brush tool, keep the foreground set to black and just basically get rid of this area that's bleeding onto his t-shirt. Now as you can see I kind of overdid it there but what you can do is just swap your colors, white to foreground and re-color that in. Now you want to remain inside of the selection, inside of the area. Don't go out of the area because you can see it uh, adds a pretty bad effect. So let me undo that. You can also incorporate this tutorial with my face swapping tutorial. You can use this to sample the colors from the old face to match it with the new face colors. Just make sure you change the image mode to uh, lab. And if you want to save it as a JPEG, then you can go back to image mode, RGB color and uh, click flatten because you want to flatten those it's no longer editable but make sure you saved it as a psd file and then you're all good to go so i hope this helped thank you for watching and until next time take care